back to my channel. I'm Johnny and I'm back with another video. All right, so today, this is a late start. It's probably after 12, close to one. Don't know. Well, I can open my laptop and find out. But before we get into this vlog, it is Vlogmas Day 2. Before we get into it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can become a part of the Perfectly Flawed community where we embrace who we are today because we want to love self first while we're chasing our next because we know there's always room for growth and improvement. So we're on this infinite journey of growing and becoming a better version of ourselves than we were yesterday, right? So here's your reminder to do all of that. <laughs> So now this video today is 12:28. I don't got much planned today. Um, I mean, I have a lot that I need to do, but I'm about to eat a uh, brunch, I guess. I spent over an hour cooking for people in this house plus me, and I really enjoy cooking breakfast. I made really fluffy pancakes, homemade whipped cream, sausage, and eggs. And these are regular pancakes um, because I keep burning my my um, banana pancakes. And I have my gallon water that I started today. So far, two days down, me and Courtney both finished gallons on Monday and Tuesday and it's Wednesday. All right, so yeah, like I said, today I don't have much planned. Right now I'm gonna work on probably the thumbnail for yesterday's vlogmas. Maybe I won't make a thumbnail, who knows. Um, but yeah, um, I'm just about to eat. Y'all, this dog is a freaking character. So meet Louie, it's my brother's dog, but he lives at the house, so he's pretty much like the family dog. Come on, Lulu. This is like one of his one of his first walks, so he doesn't really like the leash. Lulu, Louie, buddy, come on. I had this Velcro harness on him, but he bust out that thing trying to play with another dog. I'll loosen it up here. You can go a little more. All right, there we go. He loves the outdoors though, y'all. Yeah. He does. Right, look, he's trying to bite the leash. He's trying to take it out my hand. Gotta be careful with him because he'll try to run in the street too. He's still a puppy. He's only like, Oh, maybe like a little over three months old. So he's still learning. Come on, Lou. Look at him. Good boy, Lulu. He thinks he's getting a treat. I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna bring treats next time. Good boy, Lulu. Good boy, Lulu. Good boy. Oh, it's wrapped around his leg. Oh, look at this. Lou, stop. You can't rip that. If I try to get it from under his leg, he's just gonna try to bite it. Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. I got my earphones hanging. I can't even listen to music while walking him. Come here, Lou. Come here. Come here. Look. There you go. All right, come on, Lou. Good boy, Louie. He hates the leash. Just like he hates when we hold him, because he does not like being restricted. <gasps> That's my earphones. He's scared of loud noises, which is very interesting. So loud dark dog barks apply to this fear. When a dog barks loudly, he gets scared and wants to run and he hides behind one of us. He sees people, so. How you gonna do that to people, but you don't do that to big dogs? People are bigger than the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Lou, stop it. <laughs> He's only 
probably like about four months. Yeah, so he's gonna be big. Oh, buddy, come on. So clumsy. <laughs> Say bye. <laughs> come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Have a good one. Thanks. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm in my car and I put in my earphones because I want to make sure you guys can hear me. I am parked, so I'm not driving, but I just wanted to kind of bring something to you guys. So like something that really helped me out today um, that I learned while I was, um, uh, if I'm in class right now, but the class I just finished a couple of weeks ago, one of our assignments was about self-care, right? So so I want to kind of talk to you guys about self-care. I want to talk to you guys a little bit about self-care, right? So I think I've talked about self-care um, a few times on here before. But something that really stuck out to me a couple of weeks ago that I had to utilize today and that my classmate pulled out of the lesson on self-care was let your self-care be like a judgment-free zone, right? So I'm not talking about just during, I'm talking about afterwards too. Like my issue is like today, I'll take my moment of self-care or whatever. But then afterwards I'm like, oh, I could have used that time to be more productive or I shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't have sat watching TV all day or playing the game or what, whatever I chose for self-care. And I just want to let you guys know, mm -mm, don't do that. Don't be a genre in that situation, okay? Because when I do that, my self-care time is actually counterproductive. Like, I self-care to detach, de-stress, whatever. And I just picked it right back up and said, oh, that was terrible. So don't do that. Like, I'm working on not being so hard on myself, even in the moments that I'm taking time to relax, okay? Like, and I wanted to bring that to you guys. Like, my classroom was like, your self-care should be like a judgment-free zone. And it should like, I'm not telling you to go out here and do something terrible. Like, self-care, it shouldn't be things that are going to negatively impact your health, mental health, emotional health, or physical health. Self-care should not be that. But self-care should be a time doing something you like or doing nothing, detaching. Like, for me, for me, self-care, I like to detach from reality a little bit. I'm not talking about substances. I'm talking about I might play video games. So my mind is in a video game world and that's not my own sense of reality. Okay. So like, I'd like to do stuff like that or stuff where I don't have to think or focus to I, focus. I don't mind, but think about like stuff I got to do, you know? So self-care can be whatever, whatever works for you. Some people, it might just be simply just doing a hobby, whatever, but let yourself care be a judgment-free zone like don't be hard on yourself don't allow it to be counterproductive you're de-stressing don't pick it back up like that time you set aside to be unproductive so let that be that and just walk away from it like that time was that that time served its purpose like it's like maybe for people like me who's hard on myself maybe we gotta tell ourselves that time served its purpose. So stop trying to take that away from it. Like that time of self-care served a purpose. It's ultimately helping my health. Like I'm just, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I was thinking about that today because I had to remind myself today. Janet, that time you spent detaching from reality was needed, served its purpose. Stop being upset that you didn't get the other stuff done. You got something done, and that was something that positively impacted your health. So I just wanted to kind of drop that nugget there for you guys. Like, I know y'all didn't see me on here talking about how, like, I'm so hard on myself. And clearly, you see, even in my self-care, I'm so hard on myself. So for those people who are just so hard on themselves, take that nugget and apply that. Stuff don't change overnight. It's something you have to rehearse. Like I said, I have to remind myself. Something I'm rehearsed. I have to rehearse and bring back up when it's time. Right? But yeah. Um, 
So I don't think, I didn't vlog too, too much today. Don't think I'm really going to vlog. If y'all have any ideas of what y'all want to see during vlogmas, go ahead and drop it below. I don't really, you know, I'm not used to this thing. And I don't think I really thought this through of how much I should be like doing or whatever. Or should, shouldn't be doing. Well, there's no guidelines. So tomorrow I do want to show you guys one of the things that I do to make extra money. And it's something you could do at any time of the day. Um, okay, I take it back. It's something that you can do from about like 6, 7 a.m. to about 10, 10 p.m. All right. Um, so I want to share that with you guys tomorrow and I'm going to take you along while I do it tomorrow and we're going to have, we're going to have a good time. Yeah. Um, but before I close out this video, thank you for watching this video. Uh, thank you for watching day two of my vlogmas um make sure you like comment and subscribe follow me on my social media handles which is at underscore underscore johnny underscore underscore and um make sure you like it share it whatever comment whatever okay sorry guys do all that and i'll see you guys in the next video bye thank you guys for watching johnny's vlog miss day whatever day it is and make sure you follow me on my social medias at underscore underscore johnny underscore underscore and watch this video right here you know catch up right here and catch up right here these two these two make sure you subscribe to my channel comment and i'm going to enjoy the rest of my festive yogurt